Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So recently I received a request from someone asking me to do a video about some of the suggestions or tips I have for someone that has a big event coming up and they only have a few days and they want to look and feel their best. What kind of diet or lifestyle tips would I give someone in this situation? And I love this question because we've all been in this situation, right? Where we have like a wedding or a big family gathering or a class reunion or a big party or a hot date or something. And we only have a few days to prepare and we want to look our best and feel our best. And what, what would I suggest or what would I do in a situation like this? So the first suggestion I'd have is let's say you only have like three to five days to prepare for a big event. The first suggestion I would have would be to do cardiovascular exercise every single day up to the event. So I was suggesting a minimum of 30 minutes and high intensity cardiovascular exercise. Okay, so you want to put your all into it, especially if you only got like 30 minutes to do the exercise, then put your all into it, make sure you're sweating. And if you can, actually I would suggest doing 60 minutes or at least doing 60 minutes the day of the event. If the day's up to the event, you have to only only could fit in like a half an hour then do that but by doing cardiovascular exercise and especially sweating and getting your heart rate up is, is that not only is it going to help to move your lymphatic system and detoxify you in many ways I look at exercise as a way of sort of washing you from the inside out and so it's a great way of getting your circulation going improving your digestion sweating things out reducing any kind of water retention and and also getting a nice rosy glow right because it helps improve your blood circulation as well and not only does exercise make you look better makes you fresher makes you feel good it's also great for boosting up your self-confidence your mood your energy everything so definitely exercise exercise a lot before your event and the day of the event make sure to get a good workout in and put your all into it the second suggestion I have would be to either eliminate or reduce salt completely for those few days leading up to the event. So my suggestion is that if you can eliminate it completely, but if you can't and you really need just a little bit of salt, my, I would recommend having no more than a fourth a teaspoon of salt every day. So that's just, it's so little, okay? It's just like a few pinches on every meal, that's it. And I would also suggest too, is watching out for condiments that have a lot of salt or sodium in it. So I would avoid using anything that has like tamari or soy sauce in it, or Bragg's liquid aminos, or miso, or fish sauce, or even salted butter. I would avoid all that stuff because it's high in sodium. And the main thing with salt is that it makes you retain water. It, it makes people retain water all over their body, including their face. And it's kind of the moment that you kind of take a break from it, you notice within a very short period of time, maybe 24 hours, it's like suddenly the puffiness and the water retention just goes down. <laughs> so if you have a few days without salt or very little salt, you really will see a difference and you'll look better, you'll feel better, everything. The next suggestion I have would be to be cooking all your meals at home, okay? So do your best for those few days leading up to the big event not to go to a restaurant, not to buy prepared foods, not any of that, just cook homemade meals prepare your meals at home you using fresh wholesome ingredients big difference because a lot of times people don't realize just how much salt and sugar and and fat is being put into all your meals when you go to a restaurant or you're buying processed or pre-made food you know the main thing is fat salt and sugar is what makes food taste good so restaurants even the healthy restaurants even the vegetarian restaurants even the vegan restaurants all of that they use a lot of salt they use a lot of sweetener to make food taste better you know so you want to avoid those places while you're getting ready for your big event okay and eat your meals at home and therefore you can watch over how much you're putting in of certain things you can reduce the salt and you can stay with fresh wholesome ingredients the next suggestion I have is to increase foods that have beta carotene beta carotene is one is one thing that actually gives people a very healthy glow it's great for the skin it gives people a nice coloring to the skin <laughs> Beta carotene is in mostly fruits and vegetables, right? And it's in fruits and vegetables that are orange or dark green, okay? And when people have a diet that's rich in beta carotene, 
And I'm talking rich in foods that contain beta carotene, not supplements, okay? I'm not suggesting taking any kind of beta carotene supplement. You have to really be eating the whole foods that have beta carotene in it. But when you have a diet that has, that is rich in foods with beta carotene is, is that you will notice your skin will have a healthy glow. It, it will give you more color in your skin. Great for people who live in North America over the winter months where they, they don't really get any sun or anything like that. This is a way of actually getting sort of a warm glow to your skin. A lot of times when people do either like a juice fast or they do uh, a plant-based diet, especially with a lot of raw foods in it or, or they go on a raw food diet, people always remark on like how their skin looks so great and they're glowing and they have great color. And that's actually coming from the beta carotene. We hear the extreme examples of someone that does like a, like a carrot juice fast and they turn orange. <laughs> That's an extreme example of it, but it does give your skin a little bit of, of a warm tone to it. So that's something to do. So the foods that are rich in beta carotene would be things like sweet potato or papaya or pumpkin or anything orange, carrots and red bell peppers, things like that. And also green leafy vegetables like kale Swiss chard, lettuce, uh, spinach, those kind of things, broccoli, those all are very rich in beta carotene. So boost that up in your diet. And I, my suggestion would be is, is to have as much fruit and vegetables in your diet leading up to the, the big event because not only will the fruit and vegetables just give you a healthier glow, but also fruits and vegetables are full of a lot of water and a lot of fiber, which helps to sort of flush out your system, especially your digestive system. Because the one thing too that I've noticed is that when people have a diet that is rich in fruits and vegetables, they tend to have clearer eyes. The whites of their eyes are whiter because their digestive system is usually much better. <laughs> a lot of times certain foods tend to sort of slow down digestion, especially a lot of grains, things like that. It, it's, and therefore, a lot of times it might show up in the whites in people's eyes. That a lot of times I find when people increase a lot of vegetables into their diet and fruit, it just helps move things along in the digestive system and their, their eyes are clear, their skin is clear, everything. So if you have a few days before a big event, my suggestion is, is to like get at least one or two salads into your daily diet, have a few servings of fruit, have green smoothies, have green juices, Things like that have homemade soups with very little salt, stuff like that. Get in all those fruits and vegetables. And preferably, the more raw fruits and vegetables, the better. All right, so those are my suggestions for to look fabulous at a big event. All right, so I'm wishing you guys a fabulous day. And also, I want to mention too, tomorrow, Tuesday, March 4th, is the next 10-day juice fasting program. If anyone's interested in joining, it's 10-day juice fast. So it's an extended juice fast. It's a program I host every month on my website, radiantcentral.com. It's a 10-day program. When you sign up, you get the guidelines for the transition diet onto the fast and off the fast, as well as what to be drinking on the juice fast for the 10 days. Uh, there's also a private online forum and daily videos made specifically for the juice fast to walk you through everything you need to know about juice fasting and, and all that. And each video is about 20 to 40 minutes long. So it keeps you occupied during the juice fast and it keeps you going too, it gives you extra motivation. And plus the forum itself, you get to connect with everyone else doing the program because it's an online program and therefore everyone meets on the forum. And it's great to get support when you're doing a juice fast because it's not always easy doing it alone. So this program is great for beginners, it's great for experienced juice fasters, anyone. So if you want to join, the next program starts tomorrow, Tuesday, March 4th. And you can go to my website at radiancecentral.com, click on products, and you'll see 10 day juice fasting program, and you can sign up there. All right, so have a fabulous day, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.